It's from Blackie Speaks. Taito, she did it again. Guess what just happened? Well, let's just say that she did it right in front of our face once again. What's going on with you today? Hope you're staying blessed out there. Hope this first week of 2024 has been good for you so far. In this video, we're gonna revisit a story I recently made on the rapper Sexy Red. Some of y'all might have seen that video, others might have not seen that video. I made a video on this story involving the rapper Sexy Red and a ballet teacher who was kind of calling Sexy Red out on social media mm -hmm. and a bunch of parents because the little girls in her class wanted to listen to Sexy Red's music. And we all know what Sexy Red's music contains. It's a bunch of raunchy and very explicit and... See, every time he do the B-roll, bro. ...appropriate lyrics that children, regardless of if it's a little boy or a little girl, should not be listening to. I'm just trying to make sure. Period. Now, the criticism, if you've seen that, all right, all right, that we sure, we sure read you. was the fact that she was essentially encouraging little children to listen to her music, knowing how inappropriate it is for a young audience. And she did so by responding to this ballet teacher who had called her out and these parents were letting their children listen to her music by saying, girl, shut the hell up and play my records. That's what she said. So that was Sexy Red's response. And personally, I thought what she did right there was very evil work. Because the way I look at it is, yeah, you're a grown adult making music for other adults, but to go out of your way by responding to a story like this in the way that she did, to me, it signifies that she knows exactly what she's doing. She obviously knows that her music is very inappropriate for these little girls who were asking their ballet teacher to play her inappropriate records during the class. With that information in mind, she was enabling these little girls to listen to her music. Now, obviously, it's on the parents, and we're going to talk about the parents because we got some smoke for the parents, okay? But let's just say that as an entertainer, you do have some time of responsibility because you have all this influence and when it comes to someone like sexy red she's literally one of the hottest things on social media right now like she's getting so much press right now it's unbelievable the entire industry supports her some okay. of the hottest rappers have literally thank kind of you behind her thank you blackie because bro that bro his other video he literally had it in like 4k and i'm like yo yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get straight. <laughs> I'm glad he blurred it. Also jumped on records. That makes it so like much better. Say, right? Attention is the greatest form of currency, especially in this generation. And the thing that kind unless of he's blurring it on purpose. Like, you know, we're like, talking about a okay. ballet teacher who was a woman. Okay, a young intelligent woman was sharing some of the experiences that she's had as a teacher and then sexy red seeing this clip of this young woman speaking about all the things she was talking about in the way she was talking about these things obviously she was concerned for a lot of these young girls and she posted what even this is this b wrong as a way to i'm concerned because why is he buying his lip now she did this just for sexy red to brush her off and say girl shut the hell up and play my records personally i thought that was very ignorant now let's just put a halt on that for a second and let's actually move on to what happened the other day because we just saw a replay of this situation once again so let's talk about it so essentially what happened the other day is there was a clip that was posted on twitter and the clip in question was of a bunch of young girls dancing and singing along to sexy reds records specifically it was the song rich baby daddy which is a record by drake featuring sexy red and SZA. and this is the chorus to the song which sexy red is rapping this is what the song's hook says bend that ass over let that cookie breathe shake that ass babe. hands on your knees hands on your knees hands on your knees shake that ass for drake now shake that ass for me so this is one of the biggest songs from Drake's most recent project for all the dogs. It has over 134 million streams on Spotify. So going back to the clip in question, okay, it was a clip of a bunch of little girls. These little girls are, and I think this is important, they're young black girls. At what looks like a birthday celebration of some sort, I don't really know. But we essentially have, you know, one girl, she's holding like a microphone and she's leading this performance of sexy red's song and they're all like Damn. okay no that's actually sad bro like what did i just watch bro that girl's probably like what four or five like in the other video the kids were also like five bro like why and singing along to the song's 
and they're all singing the hook. Now, I will say this, though. The one good thing from this that I see is that they're actually not saying any of the curse words. I don't know if that was intentional. Like, was that maybe orchestrated by... Uh, that don't even matter the adults who are recording i have really no clue i want to say that it probably was orchestrated by the adults because you know we're talking about children and their cognitive development isn't that far ahead to the point where if they hear something like a song they're not going to intentionally skip over the words because they're children they don't really know any better now the video aside and we're going to get to sexy red's response in a second because she had something to say about this. The video aside, I thought the caption to this her viral video was pretty interesting. Because the caption was, if the party ain't lit like this, don't invite me. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, looks to be 17 to be precise. 17 face with tears of joy emojis. I gotta whisper this one, but this tweet right here looks like it was written by a certain agency who flooded the black community with cocaine in the 80s. Say no mo. Now, Sexy Red ended up. Mm, I think that's a bit of a reach, but all right, bro. Viral video. I wonder what Sexy Red said. Well, let's take a look at Just it. Just ignorance. Tweet. Here it is. Oh, like a w w w, like you know, like oh. So that's what Sexy Red said which tells me that she knows exactly what she's doing. I mean, she's literally doing it in front of our face like we don't know what the hell she's doing. So before we get to Sexy Red, we do have to talk about the fact that these children uh, would not be listening to this thank you. had it not been for their <laughs> parents. Let's talk See, about he, he made a shroom program right now. Here, I'm like, bro, you... Horrible job at being parents and i don't know what it is about these clips that i've seen on social media like i've seen a couple of these clips of children dancing to you know specifically sexy reds music and i'll be honest with you guys i don't think that's a coincidence at all i think this is by design and i wonder who's pulling the strings that's what i'm asking like who's behind this now that's me asking that question with my you know con look like a fortnite character walking down the street bro like conspiracy look. theorist tone on another note though a big part of me thinks this is just due to clout chasing parents because there's a lot of parents out there who are willing to sell out their children for some likes and views and interactions on social media by having them dance to this dysfunctional music and so they record their children dancing to let's say like a sexy red they post it on social media knowing that it's probably gonna go viral because there's gonna be a lot of people like us you know with some common sense who are gonna be like wait a second that doesn't look right why are these little girls not only dancing to but singing along to this rapper's music whose entire mo is being as raunchy and as vulgar as possible. they all need like, jesus make any sense for the people with common sense that is there's of course going to be another crowd who stands behind this and they might say something like well when we were kids we used to listen to this other music which was as bad and as filthy and as vulgar and as explicit so ain't nothing wrong with this right not realizing that the reason why they think this is normal is because they were presumably brought up in a very dysfunctional environment where a exactly lot of this inappropriate like that's not normal yeah. was pushed in their face constantly and a lot of that for them eventually became normalized and so they're not going to bat an eye when dysfunction is put in front of them because that is their normal and it's really sad because a lot of these parents and a lot of these grown people who think like this who eventually end up having children they end up letting their children consume a lot of this extremely inappropriate and explicit content so this entire conversation that we're having obviously Please this is on okay on the parents and at the end of the day as much disdain i might have for sexy red and everything she's doing when it comes down to it yes she might exist in the industry and she might make certain type of music that a younger audience shouldn't consume but the reason why that younger audience is consuming this music in the first place it's obviously because of their legal guardians for anyone who's still not aware i'm, I'm sure you are aware of this looking at this fucking b-roll here it looks like a fucking fever dream like the hell is she even trying to convey with this fit but we do live in a generation now that's being raised by social media specifically TikTok, okay and there's a lot of parents out there who've absolved themselves of the responsibility that they have by putting a smartphone <laughs> in their chip i still don't get why this nigga's biting his lip in this clip themselves of the responsibility that they have <laughs> hey bro somebody get chief keith bro Somebody get Sosa, bro. <laughs> you like, nigga, that is not cheap. <laughs> 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 
Be like, hey, boy. By putting a smartphone <laughs> in their children's hands so they don't have to sit there. Hey, somebody get so sober. He tripping. He on the per 30. He tripping. For a second. I mean, guys, this is something uh, that that'd be real so clear. Funny. Places now. What we're seeing in this story right here, this is just a symptom of a deeper problem that's going on in society right now how come we're seeing things like children putting their lives at risk through let's say a tiktok challenge that's going viral this is happening because a lot of these kids they're not being monitored by their parents and a lot of times the parents are not only encouraging this behavior but they're also enabling that same destructive behavior i look at it and i say that's children raising other children because yep. these are not adults at all and one of the theories that Childish. i have one of the things that i've come to understand would be a better well, way you are full and There's grown a adult but a baby mind now, and they were never planning didn't learn nothing when you grew up in their children's lives either they were not planning to or they're just simply not able to be mentally present because not every human being is even able to do that which is why we have the saying not so i said they all need jesus children, all need the because, lord you know here's a difference start praying for them older generation and this new generation now back in the day before let's say the internet if you chose to have children at the very least you had to be mentally present with them because if you're not reading the newspaper and your child doesn't have an iphone they can be entertained by while your mind is completely somewhere else what exactly are you going to do to pass the time well you're going to put your focus and your mental towards them the thing that's going on now however with the digitalized era where we have iphones i.e. smartphones, TikTok, and all these other things that are obviously a distraction from real life, you can, as a grown adult, decide to have children, and then you can put a smartphone in their hand and mind your own business as they're minding their own business. And that takes away the responsibility from what the parent is actually supposed to do. And that kind of brings us full circle to this specific story right here. These little girls dancing to a rapper like Sexy Red's music, which is very inappropriate for children is a direct result and direct symptom of parents absolving themselves of the responsibility that they have as parents that's the whole thing that's going on here i think the saddest part about this is the fact that there's a lot of people out here man who think that this is a joke they think that this is funny and i don't even blame the people man because this is the result of all the conditioning that they've been putting into our minds man part of the allure of these social media challenges and these viral social media videos where you got people mostly kids dancing to let's say like a song is to keep everything as fun and as lighthearted as possible i'm not even gonna so lie bro i'm not about to like skip the end of this children partake in all this and then the children are kind of gonna look at this as like a fun little thing and so eventually we get to a place where the children want to partake in all these fun and portrayed as innocent challenges slash like dances, we get it bro right? we like get it we get it to a sexy red song which contains explicit vulgar and we get inappropriate it. lyrics and then the parents have to come out and tell them no get you're not gonna dance to the song who do you think becomes the enemy in that situation think about that the parents i don't care just like your mom says i'm not your friend I'm not your friend. You need a parent like 